morning i legit didn't even know if i was gonna vlog today if i was gonna have time because i have a lot of stuff i have to do a lot of editing and some projects that are going on on the side i was gonna dedicate this layover to kind of finish everything and also i have a video for my youtube channel that's pending <laughs> that's been like in my computer for such a long time i just can't get around to finish it but i will try to finish it today after i come back i was gonna go uh, grocery shopping right now i will either go to trader Joe's or Whole Foods. I'm also gonna stop by CVS because I need some stuff from there as well. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. If you're thinking, wow, she's wearing all the same clothes all the time. I am. You're right. It's like to be comfy. Bye bye room. Also, my outfit is like for summer and it's like 18 degrees outside. <laughs> Let's see how that's gonna go. Hope I'm not gonna freeze to death. I have a list of things here that I absolutely have to buy. Um, yeah, let's see if I find everything. <laughs> Yes! I don't know which one to get. I think I've had this one before. Vega are the really popular ones. But I also don't like their taste. Okay, so I ended up going with this one. But I want to try like to find individual servings so that I can bring it with me on the flight because this thing is not gonna fit into my trolley bag. Okay, I can't find the individual servings and like powdered version. So I will just buy this, it's not too much, it's like $12, um, yes, yeah, so it's gonna last me for like 4 flights. Morning. This all looks so yummy, check it out. Come to side. Really? Am I getting this? Am I getting this? I'm getting it. What? Yes. And I will buy this organic pumpkin puree. This is the cheapest kombucha I have encountered in like ever. $2.99. Now I would get this, but I already have it in my fridge, so. So I'm disappointed. These are the only coffee creamers that they have that are vegan. Um, uh, I'm not gonna get those. Uh. <laughs> These look cute. And they're quite cheap also. I think I'll give it a try. I hope they're coming out. I hope Mango. I'll take that one also. No, there are apples. Strawberry. Yay, yeah, some stock. This is actually very cheap for a flat seed meal. Dried cranberries, yum. So I saw a recommendation for this one in one of the vlogs. I'll try it out and let you guys know how it is. The sprouted bread, we like to keep these handy probably freeze it so it lasts longer. So I'm also having to stop by Harry's Theater because they didn't have my uh, silk coffee creamer that I love but they do have it here so I'll go just buy that and then I will head back to my hotel. <laughs> We are at Harry's Theater, just buying my coffee creamer. You guys, this is the one. Silk. It's the best, really. I always get the caramel flavor. Tastes so good. I'm getting like four of these. 
I'm not even kidding. I'm a lazy cook. But let me show it to you guys once I go back home. Hey, I'm back. Let's start the haul. I'm gonna make this a joint haul because I do have a few things that I purchased back in Munich just before I went to Washington. But all the stuff that I'm gonna show you is plant-based, vegan, and it's the stuff that I use on a regular basis. I'm gonna start with this Alpro yogurt. Um, it says Onezucker which means no sugar. It's a soy based with yogurt cultures. And I love this. This was my go-to breakfast ingredient when I was on a vegan keto diet. So I would put this in a bowl. I would usually use like a third of it. And then I would mix it with some flaxseed meal. This one I got from Trader Joe's. Uh, I showed it to you guys earlier. It is great to mix it with the yogurt and I do have some coconut flakes also that I mix in and I would usually top it up with almond butter. It's like a white almond bleached almond butter. So the texture is much lighter and it's creamier and kind of sweeter than the regular almond butter. So yeah, I love this thing and I would either put some blueberries in it or some dried fruit. Not that I used dried fruit when I was on a keto diet, but yeah, I'm not anymore. So I would I bought these dried cranberries from Trader Joe's. That is basically a go-to breakfast for me. So just some yogurt, flaxseed, coconut flakes. Oh yeah, sometimes I would mix in um, walnuts. I would like take a few halves and then like, like I would chop them up and just sprinkle them on top and it's like a really yummy, crunchy, sweet breakfast. Then, moving on to something that legit changed my life. It is this almond milk coffee creamer. This one is from Silk. However, um, there are some other great brands. Coffee Mate is one of them. From Coffee Mate, I tried the hazelnut flavor, which is also really good. But this one is my go-to. I brought four bottles of these with me because they don't have it here. A lot of stuff that I buy in the US or Germany, they just don't have it in Abu Dhabi. Like, for example, also kombucha. It does not exist in Abu Dhabi or Dubai. The only place that I haven't tried are the liquor stores. And I'm guessing that they don't have this in regular supermarkets because it has very little, but there is small percentage of alcohol in it. So it cannot be in like regular supermarket. If I want to buy kombucha, I either get it. I most usually get it from US. I do get great ones in Australia, but also in Germany, they have a few brands. But going back to Silk, almond milk creamer this thing is so good and I'm warning you it's sweet and I drink my coffee sweet I used to drink my coffee with like regular almond milk sometimes I would use cashew milk I would rarely use soy milk but sure if there was no other option I would use soy milk but since I tried this Having my coffee with regular almond milk or soy milk or cashew milk or oat milk any other milk it doesn't taste as good. These are just super awesome and yummy and I recommend it to everyone. I showed you guys earlier that I got this chocolate hummus. It does taste a little bit like hummus. It's like how you would think chocolate hummus would taste. This tastes exactly like it. I tried it 
and it's great I just don't see me eating this on a regular basis even though it's super yummy if you guys want to find healthy dessert alternative I would recommend this it does kind of have like a salty undertone so it's kind of wheat and salty combination I mean it's not bad I just kind of it was like an unexpected taste for me I didn't expect to taste what I tasted when eating this then we have this organic creamy cashew fiesta dip it's like a cheese dip alternative same thing I did not expect to taste what I tasted because maybe I like I should have read the ingredients or something but it has the paprika flavor maybe I, I just don't know how a regular fiesta dip tastes like because this is supposed to be like a fiesta dip cheese alternative um, yeah but it has a very strong paprika flavor not that I don't like it I do like it I tried it on this, this sprouted bread and it was fine that I don't see myself buying it again then this sprouted bread so this is like a healthy bread and we will for now we're keeping it in the fridge but since we're not really going through it that fast uh, we'll probably like freeze it and then just like take two or three pieces whenever needed and just like put it in the toast or something and I kind of always toast my bread because I like it better like that when it has like just a little bit of crunchiness then we have this thing it is also like a cheese spread alternative, Simply V, vegan, and I got this from Germany. I would love to tell you the ingredients on this thing, but I just don't understand German. Uh, I tried the other flavor as well. It's like a herby thing. I don't know what herbs are in there because I can't translate it, but it's really good. Another thing that I always get from Germany as well is tofu. So I have three different kinds here. So this one is from Rossmann. I think it's like smoked flavor. I don't know, but it has a vegan sign on it. So I know it's good to go. Um, and these two are from Rewe. This is one is smoked flavor and the other one is paprika flavor. I always get the flavored ones because then I don't have to mix in all the spices and marinate it. I would just put this in a pan and grill it. I would just grill some vegetables and I have my lunch. The salad, I like to have the already mixed salad. This is Sorento blend. It has baby arugula, spinach and lettuces. So I just throw this in a bowl, put in some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and I have a salad. Spinach, I also use it either for a salad or I just put it in a pan and fry it and have it like a side dish. Earth Balance, vegan spread. It's um, made of vegetable oils. It's non-GMO and vegan. And this one is salty, so uh, I just when I put it on the bread, it does have like a bit of a salty taste. Next, organic pumpkin. I'm not really familiar with the texture of this. So if it's like a pumpkin mash, I'll probably just mix it with some water and like make it, make it into a soup like that. Or I will have to throw it in a blender if it's like chunks. Also instant mashed potatoes. I like convenience when cooking. And this one is just mixed in with water or some soy milk and yeah it's like an instant mashed potatoes it's great for like lunch side a dish and last but not least are these Luna bars I got the blueberry bliss lemon zest and chocolate peppermint stick this flavor I've never tried before. I'm, I'm excited to try this one, and I would just have this have this as like a pre-workout snack or just a like midday snack. That is it. That is all I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, this is like I mentioned all the stuff that I use on a regular basis. Uh, if you guys are interested in some recipes, comment below, and I will make a video on that as well. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.